The idea today is to talk a little bit about what we started as the Ohana program. The really change started in Kalihi. We fell in love with the property, but it was a mess. And then the families living there were tenants for 30, 40 years. And then we were able to work with them so they could buy two of the houses where they live today. One day, Micah was, and I were talking after he was teaching my son surfing, and then you take it from there. I mean, Ernesto told me, this came up to me after a long day of working, and he's like, oh, you gotta buy a house. And I was looking at him like, yeah, I think that's, everyone wants to buy a house. I was like, oh, I don't know if I could qualify for a, a loan or anything. I was like, no, we're gonna make it happen. And then the rest is history after that. I got my loan and then got my beautiful family into the house. Micah introduced me to Ernesto. Uh, we started talking and I own my own business, I'm self-employed, so I, I didn't know how I was gonna get a loan. Working with Ernesto was just unreal, you know. I had my doubts, I had my questions, times where I, I felt defeated. He said, don't worry, brother, we'll work together. And, you know, he actually did. He worked with me every step of the way, all the way until he handed over the keys. And somehow I'm a house homeowner now. And um, it's all to the Ohana program. The really change started in Kalihi, and I have to thank Lauren here that came all the way from DC because our lender, when we were closing, COVID hit, and he said, we're not gonna give you guys the money. So Lauren, for the first time out, gave us the money to do the first CPR deal of, of her business. So without her, not, none of this would happen. So thank you so much for coming from DC. Yeah, the Ohana Program Foundation is kind of like a dream because I get to culminate all of the things that are important to me, which is you know conservation, environmental issues, homing our local residents so that we get to stay here and be with our families, so our keiki can grow up here and they might have a hope for future for owning a home. Just want to say thank you to everybody that's involved. That no matter what role that we play, big or small, uh, you know we're all uh, striving to to lift one another up. And I also see a foundation that is in the beginning of the impact that it's gonna have. We're working through many different ways and concepts to try to create affordable housing. I really look forward to continuing to do what we're doing, expanding it, and really having this impact be felt on a, on a larger and larger scale. What we're doing for Hawaii as a, as, as a Kama'aina, as a people of Hawaii, to know that we're doing something for our, for our people, it's just, doesn't make any more sense to me than what it is. So I realized my journey and what I'm here and just want to say aloha and thank you guys. We had such a struggle to get loans for these guys with local banks. Part of what we want to do on creating and transforming this into a foundation is to create awareness, you know, uh, so we can do this to more people. We have around 30 units that are going to be on the Ohana program in Maui. We're so motivated to keep providing products, but now it's time to separate the Ohana from Hawaii Bahia and from our business. And most important, we, we need to be a force so we can pressure the government, the local banks, and have a voice to be heard so we can do this. And hopefully the next and the next ones, it's not going to be so hard.